you have learned how to show some text using interpolation, how to set properties or attributes to an HTML element, but with Angular it is possible to set styles and classes to an HTML element. And that is what you will learn on this part. So let us go to our project and see it in action. In here I'll just go to the app.component.html, I'm going to remove all this code, and then here I'm going to create a p tag, and then I'll just type in here, this is a paragraph to test the class and style binding. Now this paragraph tag can either be bound to a single CSS class or to multiple CSS classes. To be bound to a single class, you can just use in here the curly brackets, and then in here class, and then dot the class name, so let us say sample, and then in here you just define if you want to apply the sample class or not. So I'll just go to the TypeScript, and then here I'll just type is sample applied is equal to let us say true. So let me copy this value, come in here. What this means is that whenever I run this app or I refresh the project, this p tag is going to have the class named sample. Now, since this class does not exist, we can just create the class. I can just go in here and then go to the CSS file and then in here dot sample because this is how you create CSS classes. And then I'll say I'll just change the text, so let's say the background color is going to be this color. So let us save the changes, let us go to the browser. You can see in here that the background color was applied successfully. Now let us try and set multiple CSS classes. In here now I'm going to create another class, this is going to be named sample color and this is going to set the color to be white. Then I'll change the name of this one to sample pg color, so background color. Now let us go to the HTML file and now in here instead of having the class.sample, so the class name, I'm just going to remove the sample part and I'll have just class. I'm going to name this one multiple classes. Let us copy this name, go to the app component.ts, can remove this one. And now this is going to have multiple classes, going to have the first class, so this one. And then to add multiple classes, you just need space. And the second class is going to be the sample color. Let us say the change in here and also in the HTML and let us go to the browser. So in here you can see that we do have the background color, but now we also have the text color set to white. So we did set the styles to this paragraph using classes, but it's also possible to set styles to a paragraph or to any HTML element by just binding styles. So let us go to our project and see it in action. In here now, instead of using the class keyword, I'm going to use the style keyword. So for that, I'll just remove the class, just type style. And then in here, we are going to have multiple styles. I'll copy this value, come to the TypeScript, so multiple styles. And the multiple styles are going to be the background color. So let me copy the background color. And after the background color, we are going to also set the color. Then the color. Let us save the changes. Let's save the changes in here. Let us go back to the browser and see if we still have the same result. So in this case, we just set multiple styles, but it's possible to set like a single style. So let us go back to our project. And here, instead of using style, we can use style.background 
color and the color is going to be let's say pg color it's going to be this one we can remove the color so this is going to be the bg color let's save the changes so you can see that the background color was applied successfully but in here when we set the style we did use the dash case but it's possible to also use the camel case when you apply styles so instead of having background dash color we're going to have background color with an uppercase c let us save the changes let's go back to the browser and you can see that we have the same result